Right, so just before I do jump onto this video, if everyone could drop a like, if we could aim for 50 or 60 likes, that'd be amazing. Um, drop a sub as well, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And I'm going to start doing a top comment every video, so if you leave more comments and I'll choose the top comment. So the top comment from last video, I'll put it here, HB7, appreciate that bro. I'm trying to work on my graphics, so yeah, I think I've up my graphics for this video, um, all by my, made by me. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to show you my um, predicted Chelsea lineup. Apologies for the little bits of bad commentary, I'm not the best at speaking over... Um, over something, I'm better at just live if you get me, I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, anyway, drop a like, subscribe, and let's jump on into the match, match lineup, so that's the one. Right, so first of all, we've got Courtois in goal, easily our best keeper, no arguments there, bang, straight in net. In the middle of the defence, David Luiz had a quality game last game, never fails to impress me, should be our captain, uh, Gary Cahill, just leave please, I'm joking, Gary Cahill is decent, but Aspilicueta on the right hand side, no arguments there, Aspilicueta's a beast. Bit poor last game, but he was right wing back. And then to the left of David Luiz, we've got Christensen. Uh, this is a bit debatable. We could have Rudiger there, um, but I don't know. I don't have faith in Rudiger. We should bring back Kurt Zuma, in my opinion. Kurt Zuma is a lot better than Rudiger. I don't know. What's your thoughts on that back three and the goalkeeper? I think it's our strongest lineup. Then we've got Victor Moses back. He's back from his yellow card ban. Um, so Victor Moses, is, he brings so much going forward. So does the Max Alonso. Max Alonso had quite a decent game against Burnley. Um, but anyway, there's our back, uh, our back five, back three, whatever you want to call it. I think that is going to be the strongest, strongest it can be, if you get me, with the players we've got. Right, okay, so getting into our first centre mid, I've got N'Golo Kante. Absolutely no arguments there. Kante was brilliant against Burnley, one of our best players. And then next to him, the man. This is a, a little bit debatable. I don't know if he's going to be fit. He's been in training. Uh, we may have to play David Luiz in midfield. I forgot to say that, but I put Bakayoko there. Bakayoko and Kante, I'm really looking forward to seeing them together. The two French beasts, they're going to work like mad. I put Kante a little bit behind and Bakayoko to do the uh, more forward work sort of thing. But yeah, them two in midfield, if they can start against Spurs, I think it'll be unreal. By the way, this is my prediction, not, not my prediction what Kante will pick. This is my sort of like team that I'd play. Um, that I think will win against Spurs. So yeah, them two in midfield are going to be beasts if they get to play. So first of all, we've got Willian playing down the right hand side. Um, no arguments there. We've got injuries, Hazard's out, and then Pedro's still injured, I think. So here we go, the man that we've all been waiting for. A lot of Chelsea fans want this to happen. Boga to finally get his start. He started last week, but Gary Cahill, oh my God. Gary Cahill got sent off, so that meant Boga couldn't, couldn't get any game time, basically. But Boga on the left. Willian on the right, it could be Masonda on the left, I'm not going to lie, but this is the team that I think will win. So I'm going Bug on the left, Willian on the right, come on, and then let's jump in to the man up top. Right, so lastly, I've got Morata up top. Please, Conte, play this guy, please. That's why I was very poor against Burnley, I'm not going to lie. Morata completely changed the game, got a goal and assist in uh, probably about 10 15 minutes. He was quality. Please play him, um, he's so good at holding the ball up. And also, I've just read that. Um, Conte, he says um, something like he likes David Luiz in midfield, but he prefers him in defence. So it, it's looking like he's not going to play him in midfield. A lot of Chelsea fans were saying he probably probably may uh, play him in midfield if Bakayoko's not fit. But we're just praying that Bakayoko's fit. Morata up top. Um, I don't think Hazard's going to be um, here as well. Hazard, he, he's been training the same as Bakayoko, but Hazard had a more serious injury. To Bakayoko. But anyway, this is my starting 11 that I think will beat Spurs. Come on, my score prediction for this game is going to be I'm going to go 2-1 to Chelsea. I've always got faith being a Chelsea fan. Ever since that Champions League final, uh, well, the Champions League run, I will always have faith, no matter what. Even with nine men against Burnley, we're still playing better than Burnley. But anyway, this is my uh, this is my team, my starting 11. Um, so yeah, let's move on into the first cam. JSG, not JSG, Muzz. Let's move into first cam. Right, so that was my uh, starting eleven that I do think will win against Spurs. Let me know what you think, and let me know what you think your score will be. Spurs against uh, Chelsea at Wembley, so it's almost like not even a weird It's just a nice little trip out, nice three-point. I'm joking. It's going to be a tough game, um, even though Spurs they don't have Carl Walker, obviously. Um, but Spurs are a solid team. Eriksen's going to be unbelievable, as I've said in previous videos. Deli Ali, Harry Kane, all play well against Chelsea. Sorry for that. Um, but anyway, it's going to be a tough game. My prediction's 2-1, as I've already said. Smash a like if you have enjoyed. I might do more of these for different teams, so if you want me to, let me know. Uh, drop a sub as well, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.